Russian President Vladimir Putin has warned the United States against deploying long-range missiles in Germany, saying that the move would trigger Moscow to station similar missiles within striking distance in the West. Putin's statement is in response to the US decision last month to deploy long-range fire capabilities in Germany in 2026 in an effort to demonstrate its commitment to NATO and European defense, the Washington and Germany. The flight time to targets on our territory of such missiles, which in the future may be equipped with nuclear warheads, will be about 10 minutes, Putin said, while addressing the event to commemorate Russian Navy Day in St. Petersburg on Sunday. We will take mirror measures to deploy, taking into account the actions of the United States, its satellites in Europe and in other regions of the world, Putin stressed. The Russian leader accused Washington of stoking tensions by transferring Typhon missile systems to Denmark and the Philippines. Furthermore, he compared the US plans to the NATO decision to deploy Pershing II launchers in Western Europe in 1979. This situation is reminiscent of the events of the Cold War related to the deployment of American medium-range Pershing missiles in Europe, Putin emphasized. Major of Ukrainian army Dmitry Kozubenko said that the Russians are bringing up reserves in all directions of the Eastern Front, but the situation remains difficult in the Chasovyar area and the Bakhmut defense area. The enemy is constantly bringing up reserves in all directions. Now the Russians are massively storming all positions of the defense forces along the entire line of combat contact, including Chasovyar. The enemy is trying to enter the city itself. In the Canal micro district, the enemy was successful only because he wiped it off the face of the earth. Now the Russians have not made any significant advances, but they are still continuing their attempts, the soldier said on the air of Espresso TV. According to the officer, the enemy has a significant advantage in manpower. The Russians have a large amount of assault, meat and air support and this helps them. For more than six months, the occupiers have been actively using fabs and cabs which wipe out everything in their path after which the infantry comes. But fortunately, their efforts do not bring results. Because for a successful war, you need to know what you are fighting for. And the Russians are fighting only for money and the ambitions of their king. Gozubenko added, advancing west from Avdiivka, Russian occupiers threaten the T0504 highway, which is called the road of life. 
This is currently the main supply route for the Ukrainian Armed Forces Group in the Chasovya area, Build Rights. At the same time, the Russians are expanding their foothold in the Ocheretino area, capturing nearby settlements in order to reach the operational level. According to the publication's expert on open data analysis, Julian Robka, these two maneuvers are connected to each other. At the same time, the Russians are expanding their foothold in the Ocheretino area, capturing nearby settlements in order to reach the operational level. According to the publication's expert on open data analysis, Julian Robka, these two maneuvers are connected to each other. He noted that the occupiers have about six kilometers left to reach the T0504 highway through the village of Vozdvizenka. But the Ukrainian armed forces have already built a strong defense there and are successfully holding back Russian troops in this small area.